When we talk about the six pillars of faith, we are talking first and foremost about the belief in Allah, the belief in God. We believe that there is only one God. We believe that God is absolute and that God is unique. He is the creator of all things. He is the most powerful, the most wise, the most kind, the most merciful, the most generous. He is the provider for all things and he is the one who gives life and he is the one who will take life away. We believe that nobody can be set as an intermediary or an associate or an equal or a partner with God and we devote all of our acts of worship to him and to him alone. Allah tells us about himself in the Quran in a famous chapter of the Quran or surah which we refer to as Surah Al-Ikhlas. Allah says in the Quran, Say, O Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, to people who have asked you about Allah, that Allah is the only one, meaning Allah is the only creator. He is therefore the only one that's worthy of being worshipped. Allah is then telling us that He is the Absolute, which means everything is in need of Allah. Allah is not in need of anything else. Allah does not get tired. Allah does not need to rest. Allah does not forget. Allah does not have any weaknesses or deficiencies as is claimed in some other religions and scriptures. Allah then goes on and says about Himself, لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ He does not beget nor was He begotten. He does not have any children nor does He have any parents because he is not in need of such a thing. Human beings, we have a strong desire and need for children. We want those children to carry on our name and our legacy after we die. We want them to fulfill the hopes and dreams that we were not able to fulfill in our lifetime. But the reality is that Allah doesn't have such needs and He is not lacking in that area at all. Allah is the first with no beginning. He is the last with no end. Allah is the absolute and everything in existence is His creation and is belonging to Him. Allah goes on and He says that there is nothing that is similar or co-equal to Him. Although we know Allah through His creation and we know Allah through His revelation, we look to His description of Himself and His uh, names and attributes, but we do not compare any of those names and attributes to mankind. People can be generous, but their generosity is nothing compared to the generosity of Allah. People can be merciful, but their mercy is nothing compared to the mercy of Allah. People can see, but they cannot see all things. Allah can see all things and knows all things and can hear all things at all times. There is not a seed in the earth except Allah knows about it. There is not a leaf that falls from a tree except Allah is already aware of it. There is not a fish in the sea or a bird in the sky except that Allah is completely aware of it and encompasses all of it with his knowledge. So there is nothing that is similar or co-equal to him and therefore there is no one and there is nothing that is worthy of being worshipped except Allah, the creator of all things.